We had the so-called Christian church, the godliness, which really are snakes and devils. For a long time, they've been deceiving our people, and yet the men of God are here today to set the mind on right. And what are they doing? Name me one commandment you're keeping. You breaking the Sabbath? I see you selling men with shaved face, women wearing pants, but you the Christian church. The hell out of here. You're the church of the devil. 2,000 years after the departure of Jesus the Christ. The prophets are back to teach the real Jews, the 12 tribes of Israel, their true nationality. This is their campaign. Shalom Israel, what's going on here? We had the so-called Christian church, the godliness, which really are snakes and devils. For a long time, they've been deceiving our people, and yet the men of God are here today to set the mind on right. And what are they doing? Name me one commandment you're keeping. You breaking the Sabbath? I see you selling men with shaved face, women wearing pants, but you the Christian church. The hell out of here. You're the church of the devil. That's right. Give me first John. Give me first John 2 and 4. We yeah. all bring it out. Come on. First John chapter 2 verse 4. Come on out. He that said, I know him. That's what every Christian say. He that said, I love him. They have every prayer going out, lips, service, that you cannot count. Right. How much lip service we're going to see at the corner of our eye? They say they love God. Go ahead. And keep it not. His commandments. Read it louder, brother. Come on. Say and, what? And keep up not his commandments. And keep not his commandments. Men with shaved face. Sisters and children. I see them selling, doing business, buying ices. Where's that in the law? What law are you keeping? But you, but you, but you Christians, you followers, these are anointed of Christ. Get the hell out of here. Right. Read Matthew right. 6. Read you know what I want? There was more on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And he and he that said I know him uh -huh. and keepeth not his commandments uh -huh. is a liar. Is what? A liar. Is what? A liar. It don't matter how shiny your shoes are, how straight iron your padded shirt is iron. He that say I love him and keepeth not his commandments is what? A liar. That church, this group over here is a damn liar. Right. right. And we're going to bring up the truth. The truth is that we are the Israelites. That's right. No longer shall we be deceived by the Christian church, the Catholic church. Go ahead. And the truth is not in him. Go back. Matthew 6. Matthew 6 verse 5. Yeah. And when thou prayest, thou shalt not be as yeah. the hypocrite. Yes. Go ahead. For they love to pray standing uh, in the synagogues. What did Christ say? Hold up. There's Christians here. Can this, there's a contradiction. Right. I thought Christians were supposed to pray in public, open in the streets. Bring it out. I thought you're the followers of Christ. Right. What you doing? You have the Bible in your hand, but yet you're doing something Christ said don't do. Bring it out. What you doing praying in the streets? Read it again. Matthew 6 verse 5. Uh -huh. And when that... Matthew chapter 6 verse 5. Have the Bible in your hand and you don't know a damn thing. Go ahead. And when thou prayest, and thou, when thou prayest, thou shalt not be, thou shalt not, N O T, not, go ahead, not be as the hypocrites are. Meaning, Christ is going to say what hypocrites do. If you pray in the streets, God is saying you are a hypocrite. Supposed to pray in secret. Bring it out. Go ahead. For they love to pray standing in the synagogues.
and in the corners of the streets. And in the corners of the streets. What, you do, what do they do in the corners of the streets? Have prayer st stations, women with pants, men with shaved heads and beards. Not one commandment they keeping, but guess what? They're going to anoint you in their prayer. Get that devilish prayer out of here. Yeah. Right. Go ahead. That they may be seen of men. That what? That they may be seen of men. That's the whole agenda of the Christian church. For I could appear that I'm godly. Let me appear that I'm not a hoe, I'm a wife. Let me appear that I'm a good man, but yes, yes, I'm really a thief. I'm really stealing from the people. That's all it is. Nothing but a, a, a wolf and sheep clothing. That's the Christian church. Give me Matthew's uh, Proverbs 28 and 9. That's what the Christian church is. Snakes. Wolves and sheep clothing. Right. Go ahead. Proverbs 28, verse 9. He that turneth away his ear uh -huh. from hearing the law, uh -huh. even his prayer yes. shall be abomination. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Read that again. Read he that turneth his ear, we bring it out the Bible, yet they still praying in the streets. He that turns his ear from listening the words of God. Go ahead. Even his prayer, even your prayer, shall be abomination. What's an abomination? What's an abomination? Something disgusting to God. God is saying when you pray in the streets in front of public, that's an abomination. That's the words of Christ, Matthew 6 and 5. But what's the Christian church doing? They have the Bible, but yet they're preaching their own agenda. They're out to steal from our people. Tights. This is in the Old Testament. Give me Matthew 23, 23. We're going to show you one in the New Testament. You see what type is in the New Testament. Maybe, maybe it changed. Go ahead. Matthew 23, verse 23. Go ahead. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees. Go ahead. Hypocrites. Hypocrites. The Christian church. Go ahead. For ye pay tithe of... Hold up, hold up. Ye pay tithe. Let's find out what type in the New Testament. For he pay tithe of myth. Of what? Of myth. No, of money. Tithe of myth. Spell it. M-I-N-T. Of mint, a herb. A herb. Mint and what else? It a nice and cumin. And cumin. Cumin. These are all herbs. These are all things you grow. Where says coins? Where says a check? Where does it say... Uh, uh, your bank account number, your routing number for your bank account. Where does it say that? Let's read it again. Matthew 23, verse 23. Go ahead. Word to you, scribes and Pharisees, uh -huh. hypocrites, Go ahead. for ye pay tithe of mint and a nice in coming, uh -huh. uh -huh. and have omitted the weightier matters of the law. That's what's going on in the Christian church. That's a pity that we're righteous, but really stealing from the people. Right. Making sure our people stay in the same condition. Because right. without those laws, we're going to stay here in the South Bronx, here in captivity forever. Right. The Christian church is hand in hand with the government. That's right. Hand in hand. Read out. We pay you pastors to teach the people lies. Make sure they in sin. Right. We give you the dollar. We give you the TV specials. We give you the big churches, the big house and car, airports, airplanes, tax reductions. Just make sure you teach the people wrong. Bunch of liars out here. That's right. Give me that. Go ahead. And have omitted the weightier matters of the law. Give me Matthew, uh, uh, Psalms. No, not Psalms. Can I see buying and selling out here from the Christian church? What does God say? What's, what's today? Can any Christian tell me what's today? The Sabbath. The Sabbath, the seventh day. Brother, what are we not supposed to do on the Sabbath? What we are not supposed to sell on the Sabbath. Can you tell me what they're doing over here? They sell it. They sell it. How go? ICs. But in a Christian church, what happened to God? They think about their pockets, trying to look like sheep, but they really wolves. Right. Go ahead. Exodus 20, verse 8. Uh -huh. Remember the seventh day.
today, the Christian church, you're supposed to what? Remember. Remember. You're not remembering God's laws, the seven, if you're breaking it. How you selling and buying, doing transactions on the seven, but you are God. You ain't no damn Christians. Don't say that word out your mouth. Read. Remember the seventh day. Go ahead. To keep it holy. Go ahead. How are we supposed to keep it holy? Six days shall thou labor and do all thy work. From Sunday to Friday, before Friday sundown, that's six days. Go ahead. Six days shall thou labor and do all thy work. Uh -huh. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. Uh -huh. In it thou shalt not do any work. Thou shalt do no work. Go ahead. Thou, nor thy son. Nor thy son. Go ahead. Nor thy daughter, Go ahead. thy midservant, uh -huh. nor thy midservant, uh -huh. nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. No, if you have any business and you in the Christian church open on the Sabbath, all right, you are, you are not supposed to have operations of business open on the Sabbath. Right, brother man, brother man, you got a question, my brother right here with the gray hair. You look like God. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't put confusion up in here, brother. We ain't, we ain't trying to have that. We teaching God's law. That's right. We ain't, we ain't about no buckets up here. That's awesome. Huh? Awesome. Scoffer. Awesome. Give me, give him, go ahead. Keep, keep teaching. Exodus 20, verse 9. Yeah. Six days shall thy labor and do all thy work. Go ahead. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. Friday sundown to Saturday sundown is the Sabbath of the Lord. What? Some people, our people don't even know when the Sabbath is. What? Some of our people in the Christian church, the Catholic church, think Sunday is the Sabbath, the first day of the week. How you count to that? Go ahead, give me now, uh, Nehemiah. Nehemiah 10 verse 31. Yeah. And if the people of the land bring wealth, or any victuals on the Sabbath day to sell, uh -huh. that we would not buy it of them on the Sabbath or on the holy day. We're supposed to stand firm for God's laws. This is what Nehemiah was instructing the people to do on the Sabbath. Stay firm on God's laws. Don't buy yourself. Don't do no transactions. Even if the other nations bring wealth, any visuals, any stands to sell. Guess what? We're going to stay firm on God's law. That's right. That's, that's what the Christian church is not doing. Go ahead. That we would not buy up them. That's what we're supposed to do. This is what Israel is standing for. That's right. We are saying don't buy up them on the Sabbath. That's and that's what we're instructing to you. The Nehemiahs, the Jeremiahs, the Ezekiels, we are back. Go ahead. We will not buy it up them. On the Sabbath, or on the holy day, Go ahead. and that we will leave the seventh year in the exaction of every death. Give me boldness. Give me boldness. Because a lot of times I see the Christian church, men with shaved face. Right! Bob heads. Right! What God got to say about that? But you don't know to the Lord. You Christians. Get the hell out of here. Go ahead. Leviticus 21, verse 5. Go ahead. They shall not... What you Christians are supposed to instill? Read it again. They shall not make boldness. They shall not make boldness. When? Upon their head. Don't shave off your head. Don't make it. Don't look like a TD, TD snakes. Don't look like Michael Jordan. Right. Don't have that ball player look. Go ahead. Neither shall they shave off. The corner of their beard. Uh -huh. Of your beard. Where's your beard? Lord, can they walk on your face? Don't shave off your face. So why the Christian church ain't instilling that? Huh? What, what are we doing wrong up in here? We ain't doing nothing wrong. And they calling the cops on us. We telling our people, well, guess what? Marriage is honorable. Right. Stop the boyfriend and girlfriend. Don't go to the abortion clinics. Right. Don't kill your babies. Right. If you're a husband, get a, get a job. Provide right. for your families. Right. Name me one thing we said here that's wrong according right. to the Bible. Right. Right. But they want to cast us down. Go ahead. No make any cuttings in their flesh. Uh -huh. yes, Give me Isaiah. Uh, uh, uh. 28, 28 and 9. Yeah. Get up. 
Isaiah 29, verse 13. Wherefore, the Lord said, For as much as these people draw near me with their mouth. Oh, this morning I've just been hearing songs of Kumbaya, my Lord. Kumbaya. But yet they slinks. We draw much, we sing much to God and hallelujahs. Much. Go ahead. And with their lips to honor me. Our people are good for talking. We good for talking. Guess what? Talking that good game. I love God. I'm righteous. We good for that game of talk. Go ahead. But, but, have removed their heart far from me. God is saying, you Christians, you have removed your heart from God. You rather appear righteous to men and sing songs of kumbaya than read the book and keep dust of the Lord. Now you will see the true men of God. We are not black men, we are Israelites. Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.